A coolie is a term for a low-wage laborer, typically of South Asian or East Asian descent. The word coolie was first popularized in the 16th century by European traders across Asia, and by the 18th century would refer to migrant Indian indentured laborers, and by the 19th century during the British colonial era, would gain a new definition of the systematic transportation and employment of Asian laborers via employment contracts on sugar plantations that had been formerly worked by enslaved Africans. The word has had a variety of other implications and is sometimes regarded as offensive or a pejorative, depending upon the historical and geographical context, in India, its country of origin, it is still considered a derogatory slur. It is similar, in many respects, to the Spanish term peon, although both terms are used in some countries with different implications. The word originated in the 17th century Indian subcontinent and meant day laborer, but since the 20th century the word was used in British Raj India to refer to porters at railway stations. Cooley is now regarded as derogatory and slash or a racial slur in the Americas, Oceania and Africa slash Southeast Asia in reference to other people from Asia. The term differs from the word Dugla which refers to people of mixed African and Indian ancestry. Cooley is instead used to refer to people of fully blooded Indian descent whose ancestors migrated to the British former colonies of Africa, Asia and the Caribbean. This is particularly so in South Africa, the Eastern African countries, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, Jamaica, other parts of the Caribbean, Mauritius, Fiji and the Malay Peninsula. In modern Indian popular culture, coolies have often been portrayed as working class heroes or anti-heroes. Indian films celebrating coolies include Diwar, Cooley and several films titled Cooley No. 1. Early Life Coolio was born August 1, 1963, in Monison, Pennsylvania. He was raised mostly in Compton, California. His mother was a factory worker who divorced his carpenter father and moved to Compton when Coolio was eight years old. Severely asthmatic, Coolio was a regular visitor to his local library as a boy. He started rapping as a teenager earning the nickname Julio Iglesias, after Spanish singer Julio Iglesias, which was later shortened to Julio. He was arrested for bringing a weapon to school and served prison time for larceny. As Compton declined in the 1980s, he became addicted to crack cocaine, but quit drugs after spending time living with his father in San Jose, California. After attending Compton Community College, he worked in jobs such as volunteer firefighting and security at Los Angeles International Airport, before becoming a rapper. Music Career Coolio recorded his first single in 1987, titled Whatcha Gonna Do. He also recorded What Makes You Dance with New School in 1988. Coolio made connections in the L.A. rap scene, and in 1991, ended up joining the group WC and the Ma'ad Circle, led by rapper WC. He is a credited CO contributor on the group's debut album Ain't a Damn Thang Changed, including on the single Dress Code. Tommy Boy Records and I It Takes a Thief Slash I. None. I Gangsta's Paradise Slash I. None. Red Hot Organization and Tommy Boy Records Dismissal. In 1996, Coolio appeared on the Red Hot Organization's compilation CD America is Dying Slowly, alongside Bismarcky, Wu-Tang Clan, and Fat Joe, among many other prominent hip-hop artists. The CD meant to raise awareness of the AIDS epidemic among African American men. That same year, he recorded the music video Ah, Here It Goes for the opening sequence of the Nickelodeon television series Keenan and Cal, which ran for four seasons. Coolio's third solo album, My Soul, came out in 1997. Although it contains the major hit See You When You Get There and the album went platinum, it failed to reach the success of his previous two albums. Coolio was subsequently dropped from the Tommy Boy Records label. Since then, 
2001's Coolio.com, 2003's El Cool Magnifico, 2000's SIXS The Return of the Gangsta, and 2008's Steal Here, 2009's From the Bottom to the Top, and 2017's Long Live The Thief have not charted on any Billboard chart. He did have a minor hit in the UK in 2006 with Gangsta Walk. While touring with hip hop duo Insane Clown Posse, Coolio received a tattoo as an homage to the group's fanbus, reading Jugalo Cool. He stated that the misspelling was intentional. Coolio performed at the gathering of the Juggalos. Coolio is featured on an international collaboration track called Fuck the DJ by UK rapper Blacklisted MC also featuring Bazaar of D12, Adil Omar, and Uzaiman. The song premiered on music website Noisy from Vice in October 2014. Television Appearances Coolio appeared as a contestant on Comeback Die Grosse Chance in 2004, a German talent show featuring artists looking for a comeback. In the television series Futurama, Coolio made two appearances on the TV series and one appearance in Futurama, Bender's Big Score, a straight-to-video movie for the show. He played Kwanzaa Bot, a rapping robot who spreads awareness about Kwanzaa. In 2009, Coolio appeared as a housemate on the sixth season of the UK version of Celebrity Big Brother. He later went to appear on the UK's Ultimate Big Brother in 2010 where he decided it was best to leave the house after numerous confrontations with Nadia Almada and others there. In January 2012, he was one of eight celebrities participating in the Food Network reality television series Rachel vs. Guy, Celebrity Cook-Off, where he represented the Music Saves Lives organization. He also guest starred as himself on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Coolio is featured on the March 5th. 2013, episode of the ABC reality program Wife Swap, but his then-girlfriend left him after the program was taped. On June 30, 2013, he appeared alongside comedian Jenny A. Clare and Emmerdale actor Matthew Wolfenden on the UK game show Tipping Point, Lucky Stars, where he came in second. On June 30, 2012, Coolio voiced a wax figure of himself on Gravity Falls. He also appears on Homey Work, a 1998 episode of The Nanny, in which he portrays a nerdy man, a gift rapper, transformed by the Jewish nanny into a rapper for Maxwell Sheffield's new rap musical. Coolio guest starred on a 2014 episode of the Adult Swim show Black Jesus titled Gangsta's Paradise. In July 2016, Coolio performed on ABC's Greatest Hits. Other Appearances In 2019, Coolio appeared on Irish rap group Versatile's track Escape Wagon. He later featured on their 2021 album, Fuck Versatile, on the track Coolio Interlude. Philanthropy Coolio and jazz saxophonist Jerez were enlisted in July 2008 as spokespersons by the group Environmental Justice and Climate Change to educate students at historically black colleges and universities about global warming. Coolio was a spokesperson for the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. He said that he and his children are asthma sufferers. As a child, he was taken to the hospital several times due to asthma complications. Legal Issues In 1998, a court in Bobolingen near Stuttgart sentenced Coolio to six months probation and fined him $17,000 after convicting him of being an accessory to robbery and causing bodily injury. In 2016, Coolio and members of his crew were arrested for having a loaded firearm inside of a book bag at Los Angeles International Airport. The bag was flagged by the Transportation Security Administration as the group attempted to pass through a security checkpoint. One of his bodyguards claimed ownership of the bag, but witnesses stated that it belonged to Coolio himself. Coolio was sentenced to three years of probation and 45 days of community service. In 2017, Coolio was denied entry into Singapore upon landing at Changi International Airport. 
Singapore's Immigration and Checkpoints Authority declined to comment on the reason for the denial, citing reasons of confidentiality. Coolio had been traveling from Beijing to Singapore to perform at a Formula One concert event. Personal Life Coolio had ten children, four of whom were born to his wife, whom he married in 1996 and divorced in 2000. In March 2022, he told Australia's Today Extra that he had five grandchildren. Coolio was the running mate for pornographic actress Cherie Deville's Democratic presidential run in 2020. Death While at a friend's house in Los Angeles, California on September 28, 2022, Coolio was discovered unresponsive on a bathroom floor. He was pronounced dead by first responders. He was 59 years old at the time of his death. Police have opened an investigation into his death, though foul play is not suspected, and Coolio's manager stated he appeared to have suffered cardiac arrest. Coolio was cremated in a private ceremony with no funeral service. His ashes were then encased in jewelry for his family, with the rest of his ashes going into an urn. Discography Studio Albums it Takes a Thief Gangsta's Paradise My Soul Coolio.com El Cool Magnifico The Return of the Gangsta Steal Here From the Bottom to the Top Collaboration Albums Ain't a Damn Thing Changed with W.C. and the Maad Circle Filmography Film Television Awards and Nominations Coolio's 1995 song Gangsta's Paradise received several awards, including Best Rap Solo Performance at the Grammy Awards and Best Rap Video and Best Video from a Film at the MTV Video Music Awards. Coolio himself received several awards, including Favorite Rap Slash Hip Hop Artist at the American Music Awards in 1996. At the Grammy Awards in 1997, Coolio received three nominations, Best Rap Album for Gangsta's Paradise, Best Rap Solo Performance for 1, 2, 3, 4, and Best R&B Vocal Performance by a Duo or Group for Stomp. Overall, Coolio received five awards from 14 nominations. American Music Awards the American Music Awards is an annual awards ceremony created by Dick Clark in 1973. Coolio received one award from two nominations.